Okay, so in this video, what we'll be doing is creating some blinking lights. So let's get started. Let's get started. What we're gonna do is get a tube. So we want to like create a tube for the light, which will be our mesh, and we're gonna go to cylinder. Now, here in the cylinder options in the bottom left, my big head's in the way. Sorry, but I'm just gonna rotate this on its side. So I'm going to rotate this along the y, uh, x axis 90 degrees and I'll just change that radius like so and increase the depth. There you go. Now we've got a tube. Nothing fancy, right? There we go. Now I'm going to right click shade smooth. Boom. If I actually just auto shade smooth, it's even better. Okay. The, the auto shade smooth seems a lot better than the shade smooth. But anyway, there we go. Um, next, what I want to do is add another cylinder. Again, this will be our cap. So, cylinder. And I'll change the radius. So, slightly wider. It's going to be a lot shorter. Because this is just the cap at the end. And I'll rotate it on the X. Like T. Boom. So, this is my cap. And I'll shift this over to the left, as you can see. Yep. I'm gonna shade smooth, auto shade smooth, boom. I'm gonna hit tab, I'm going to edit mode. I'm gonna select the edges on the left. And I'm just gonna say level edge. Okay. Now the segments, I'll just increase that. It doesn't need to be that we don't need too many segments, like maybe four. Four looks okay, and you can scale this down a little bit if you want to. I just hit S to scale that down. Now, if I zoom out, you can see we need the cap to go on the other end too. So I'm just going to hit Shift D, rotate this 180 the other way, and move it into position. Okay, so now we've got cap. Then we've got tube. Now, in your hierarchy, you want to know what these are, right? So, of course, you're going to say, you know, death cap. You can call this what you can name it whatever you want. Nope, oh, got left one. Death cap. Yeah. Must, must be in right. L E F T. There we go. Left cap. Eh. Yeah. Let's do right cap. Cat. Let me just fix up the left cat underscore cat. So anyway, now these are my caps, and this cylinder here will be my light tube. So I'll just call this light tube. Like so. Alright. Now we can go into like if we're going to my shading view, you know, go to something like you choose this studio one, for example. You know, it doesn't look any fancy, there's nothing fancy going on looks like a you know two cylinders with nice fancy caps so let's make it a bit more so we're gonna um, add a material new this will be our cap material so I'll just call this cap I'm gonna make this black or slightly black um, and then I want it to be slightly metallic and bring the roughness down there we go. as you can see you know we get a nice Nice finish there. You can choose whatever you like. Yeah, and we got a nice cap on the chin. Now the light itself. We're gonna create a new material for this. Our light. This is gonna be our light tube. <coughs> uh, actually, I'll call it flickering light. Flickering. This is gonna be our flickering light. All right. And this will. This is where we're gonna jump into the shading tab. So we're gonna go up here. To shade now, so I can see that you know, if, if I'm gonna work with this one in this mode here, I want this in shading, I want to change being the same kind of viewport. So I'm gonna choose this studio one as well, anyway. So here you can see we want this to look like glass, right? So this first, we're gonna need two principal BSDs. Um, so I want this to look like glass, so I'm just going to change the transition, boom, you know, 
looks a bit more like glass. Have uh, this bit of frosting because of the roughness. Now, if we bring the roughness all the way down, you know, it looks pretty, you know, glossy. So maybe you want to bring that down. It depends on how much frosting you want on that with the roughness. Um, something like that looks alright. Um, but now we can tweak the roughness, but I've got about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. We can rough it around it up to like 0 0.4. And we can tweak that later in this amount. Now, you can do is, you know, that's a mission, boom. And then that's my emissive, emissive light, but it doesn't look nice, right? So that's an um, turn on like blue. Just doesn't look, you know. You can, I mean, you can get away with it, but, you know, we can make it look a lot better. So what we want to do is add a color ramp. And we're going to pipe this into our emission color. And here, where the black is, I want to, you know, add a color. So I want it kind of bluish, like a little tint of blue, bluish white. And the white here, I'm going to turn to black. Okay. This out a little bit. Yep. Now I want to plug in into this the layer weight, do, 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 do. and we want it to say facing. So we want facing to the factor. And I, I was I like you know point nine kind of gives it that nice look as you can see that tube. But you can also play around here with the blending as well. Um, on your on your gradient, as you can see, as I change that, you can see you know getting thinner and thicker. But I like that kind of look. And then if we bump up that emission strength, it looks so much better than it being just a solid emission. All right. But next, what we want to do is what happens when this turns off. So when we say, well, there's no light in this, you know, we want. I want this to flicker between two shaders. So I want one where it's like this and one where it's like this. Huh? So I'm going to do is really simple. Just duplicate this one. So copy and paste the BDF. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll turn that emission down to zero. Okay. Now next what we're going to need is a mix shader between these two. Mix shader. I'm gonna take this, plug it into here, and take this one to here. Now, if I go to zero, as you can see. Oh, actually, so my mission should be one here. And then the surface needs to go back to surface. Yeah. So, here on the mission, you can see now this one will focus on this shader up here. So now it's just a glass tube, no emission coming from it. If I go to one, we have a light of the meeting for me. Okay, so this is where we're going to control this. And what we're going to do is use um, the factor, so we're going to use a noise. So I'm going to shift these two back. I mean, this as well, back like this, just give me more room. And I'm going to add a color ramp again. Can you see color ramp? I can't see color ramp. Oh, because I've got a 9 in there. So I'm going to go color ramp. Okay, I'm going to drag this halfway. You can adjust, we can adjust this as we go, and you'll see in a second when we're going to do this. This will give us the blinking. So this will blink between these two, and we'll just want it to be random. So if we have 10 of these, you know, we want this to randomly blink. We just have to animate one value, and then, you know, and it will blink like. Yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, uh, what we want is a noise texture. Noise. Can I spell noise? There we go. Noise texture. And don't, don't accidentally do that. I accidentally link that to that. Yeah. In accidentally intercepted this and it connected. Anyway, you can do it. It's easy to fix. So it just disconnect it. So the fact will go to factor. Color will go to the factor here, and here I want a object info node. Yes, yeah, and I want it to be random. 
So this random will go into the vector, right? And then here we're going to change this to 4D. So now this is just switched off, so it's gone between nothing. It's just switched, it's randomly switched that. And that's fine, it, it works, we know it's working. Um, if I change the W, you'll see you flicker on and off, as you can see. And that's perfect. Now I'm going to go back to layout. And this is our, this is our glass tube. I'm going to do is just join this together. So I'm going to just join this object. So it's just one object now. So it's just called light tube, but you see the two materials are there. So we can still edit these if you want. Or you can split them later anyway. And that's one object. Let's add a floor. I'm going to mesh, make a plane, scale this up. Okay. So we have a floor. Let's make a new material. I'm going to rename the material floor. So I know that's my floor color and I'll just make it black you know maybe slightly metallic bring that roughness down um let's go into the EV render options you know maybe we turn on ambient occlusion screen space turn off half trace trace position up there we go right now we, we can't see our light it's just turned off it might be turned on for you because it's random like based on the value but we can call the material of the light flicker and we go here to our factor and going down to our noise texture you can see here the w and now flicker this on and off so i want to see you know on you can see it's now on but just me dragging this value of the w of course i can change the scale and the shade that'll affect it as well and you'll see in a second what what it does um but if you want to ever you know adjust the um Emission, you can go in there, scroll down, and can increase that emission strength as well. And of course, we got have I got bloom on? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so enough of me waffling on. Now I'm going to go to the front of you like this, shift D, and I'll just start duplicating these tubes. Okay, I'll just shift D to duplicate. Shift D again, and I'll just rotate in these. Yeah. We can make a pattern of lights, doesn't matter. Let's move this up like this, move this down like this. Shift D, this here, so we've got a nice box. Scale this up. Let's rotate this more. Yeah, maybe bring this down a tiny bit. There we go. So now we have a block of box. So now what I can do is select these all together. Join. Now we have one, you know, one box. You know, now I can do is duplicate this again. Boom. Duplicate this again. Boom. Makes my life easier. And I can build a wall of lights. So if I shift D, get these up. Get these up. Get the idea, and you can build whatever you like. You know, you can you can have a, a, a tower of lights, a wall of lights, LEDs, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's make a little fake studio wall. But let's just do tab. Select that edge package there. And just bring this up. E extrude it up. Select that edge here. Right click, bevel edge. You know, nothing fancy. Doesn't matter. Um, shade smooth, it doesn't even need that many segments. Go. As you can see, some are turned off and some are turned on. This is based on the noise texture that's controlling this material on the light. So next, if I go here, and we go to keyframe 1, and I'll also set this to 0, for example, and set a key at first, and I'll go to the end. Uh, you can drag this to whatever, whatever value you want. I might do say 5 and then set a key. If I rewind this and press play, you know, it's going to run, it's going to blink between 1 and 5. You know, we want it to go faster, then increase the value on the, on the W. There you go. Uh, but anytime when this is, you can change the scale, as you can see, as I change the scale, how much of it I'll affect. I can increase that as well. So, you know, you have a lot of control over the look of it. Also changing this gradient and the color ramp also affects how much, how much looker. So, you know, bring this down, 
Now you got it's got a slight flicker. I don't know how easy it's to see in the in the recording um, for OBS, but if I bring it down a bit more, there we go, and I can control that. Or you can bring this really down. Now, yeah. and there's a few lighting, you know, lighting up. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, hopefully this was useful. Um, and I didn't, you know, um, I explained it a little bit. Or you can follow along at least. Um, but yeah, and I, um, I saw this kind of, this was kind of based on Ducky's um, light tutorial where he shows you how to create this material. And then I thought, oh, I might as well add the blinking into it. Combine the two, you know. But yeah, hopefully this was useful to you. You know, you can create some cool stuff. I don't know, you can change the colors too, it doesn't have to be whatever this color be. And you, and you can even um, do, what's it, a mix with the colors, so it can randomly randomize the colors too if you want it. Um, yeah, but have fun, experiment. Yeah, let's go to the color. Maybe this is purple, there you go. There you go. Of course, like I said, you can increase that emission. Um, it looks cool, right? I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe you want to add some noise onto this um, this roughness here. So I'm just going to say noise. Can I find noise texture here? Noise texture. Change. Scale. The flow. It's only up to you what you do, but yeah, I'm right now just messing around, but you get the idea. Thank you again. Have yourself a good evening. Bye-bye.